Hello bunny people. This is your bunny friend, Dr. Wolfgang from the world famous Rabatorium. Today, I am disguised as a computerized woman. How many times has this happened to you? Your bunny does something adorable and you just happen to have your camera ready. When you look at your photo you are totally grossed out by that plague of bunny poopies cluttering up your once in a lifetime shot. And of course, your bunny has scampered away by now, and a repeat performance just ain't happening. For heaven's sake, do not delete those photos anymore. You can fix them without any special training or investment. Today, I would like to introduce you to a simple and ingenious way to get those embarrassing bunny beans and other cringeworthy flaws out of your photos. The first step is to download a program called GIMP. That's G-I-M-P. I have included a link in the description. This is a free image editing program that is very similar to Photoshop, and offers features and capabilities far beyond the snapshooter's needs. So as your artistic vision grows, GIMP will keep pace with you. This amazing program is good for much more than vacuuming the boom booms out of your photos, and we will review other things you can do in future editions. I have my GIMP program installed and running. You can select your photo by dragging and dropping, or by using the file menu. This is a photo of my bestest friend, Belle, the continental giant bunny. On pen cleaning days, Belle likes to help by getting in the way. This would be an adorable photo, if Belle were not surrounded by ugly butt nuggets and other distracting flaws, like that chewed wood. Belle is such a typical continental. Buy her a house and she tries to eat it. As you can see, there are boom booms scattered over Belle's blanket. And there are a few other distracting stains we would rather not see. The first step is to isolate these flaws one by one by using the free select tool, right here. Don't let that highfalutin description scare you, it's super easy to use. Zoom in on the yucky detail by holding your control key and using your scroll wheel on your mouse. Eek, there's two of them. By holding the left mouse button, draw a line around the offensive detail, like this here. When the little yellow circle appears, release the mouse button and the line will sparkle. Then, go to the filters menu, and select enhance, then heal selection. Make sure that your context sampling width is set to 50. What that means is really a matter for someone else's video, it's real brainiac stuff. All we care about right now is bunny shit, so let's move along, no pun intended. For our purposes, we do not need to mess with these settings. Just make sure you sample from all around, and the filing order is random, then click OK. OK? Now, watch the magic. It's like the rabbit never crapped at all. Now, to get rid of the sparkly line. Go to select. None. This is far out. Let's do another. Circle the turd. Then go to filters. You will dig this. Select repeat heel selection, and watch the bunny bomb vanish. Now that you have the idea, let's fast forward through this shit. There. Now let's do the same for these distracting stains in the blanket. Voila! This thing down here is Belle's food bowl. Let's put it in the dishwasher. Boom! This chewed wood presents a new challenge. If you use your heel select tool, it will come out like this. And you will be the laughing stock of the internet. Up here, you have an airbrush tool. As is the case with everything in GIMP, there are options upon options. Luckily, there are countless YouTube videos showing you the finer points. For now, we will set our hardness to 75. Why? Because I'm Dr. Wolfgang and I said so. Choose a brush size that covers most of the area you would like to correct. For this, size 51 will do. As you can see, this is not perfect white, so we must duplicate this color. 
Click on this box to call up the color menu. Click on this eyedropper. Now, click on the color you want to duplicate, and that is now the exact color you will be working with. Click OK. OK. Hold your left mouse button down and airbrush away the flaw. Be careful not to get your digital paint where it doesn't belong. Zoom in and adjust your brush size as needed. Release the mouse button often. That way, if you need to erase a mistake, you don't lose too much of your work. This edge will still look a little chewed, but at least it doesn't look devoured anymore. We can even get rid of this here chip, Gnome Saiyan. Damn, that kicks ass. Check out this before and after comparison. Using these simple techniques will allow you to clean up even the raunchiest photos, and make them into something you will be proud to pester your family and friends with, at inconvenient moments. You can finally clear the crap out of your life without years of expensive therapy. In future editions, we will cover other ways to improve your bunny photos, like cropping, color balancing, removing ugly backgrounds, and creative stuff like making memes and posters. That's it. I'm all out of stuff to say, cue the closing graphic. <laughs>